Oh, it's you, Coordinator Zark. I was having a nightmare. I dreamt we were aliens on a mission to observe human culture. Model 100 million thousand slash B would have a better hibernation system. Well, if it's good enough for the tortoise people of Tortoy 10, it's good enough for us. Oh, and we're still in time for a new series of Danny's House. That's not Danny's house. Hey guys, welcome to my brand new house. Well, technically it's my parents' house, but they're spending one more night in the old place while I unpack all my stuff. This place has everything. Wonky electrics. Dodgy plumbing. Rotten floorboards. I'm OK. So, this is my new den. Look! Got a hammock and my new sofa. And here is a box of shoes. And a half-eaten pizza. <laughs> and over here is my genius best friend, Sam. Who is about to read the most exciting letter in the world? Danny, this will be the tenth time. I know, but I love hearing it. Read, read, read. Okay. Dear Danny, we loved your demo CD and would like to discuss a record deal. Oh! We'll be in touch soon. Yours awesomely, Mogul Music. Oh! This is it, Sam. Things are going to change. Please remove the support act from the stage, please. Hello, this is my show. I'm Stella. Stella what? Just Stella. You know, like Madonna. Or SpongeBob. <laughs> well, I've never heard of you. I've won four Brit Awards. Yeah, well, I've got a 50 metre swimming certificate. I've had 15 number one singles. I've got a Blue Peter badge. In your face! <laughs> I've got an OBE to services for music. I came third in the school's break dancing competition. <laughs> Right, I came last. Mm -hmm. Show off. <laughs> and for your information, SpongeBob does have a surname. It's SquarePants. Why? SquarePants. We should do something to celebrate your big news. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Party! <laughs> Perfect. Mother and Dad aren't here tonight. We'll invite everyone we've ever known. Ooh, except that guy I went out with last month. I thought you really liked him. We're from two completely different worlds. You're breaking up with me. I want to date other life forms. But I love you. My species has no word for love. However, we do have over 300 words for stomach juice. <laughs> You're such a drama queen. <laughs> Excuse me. Party will be exclusively for people we like. Apart from Toby, obviously. He's got much more important things to do. How did he get accepted into medical school anyway? He passed his entry exam by answering bum to every question. Of course. <laughs> you know, nothing, not even my annoying little brother's gonna stop this from being the greatest party ever. So Farty's having a party. Max, what are you doing in there? Spying on you two. Didn't we carry that box all the way from the old house? You see, I thought that box was full of shoes. Turns out it only contained a big hill. <laughs> <laughs> Mum said I could stay the night here. You're not coming to the party, guff bag. I don't want to go to it. I want to ruin it. <laughs> Benjamin J. Benben! Maximus Maximinian! <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Danny, Dan, Dan! I don't think so. Sammy, Sammy, Sam, Sam! In your dreams. <laughs> so this is your new house? No, it's the old house. We moved it round the corner brick by brick. Really? It looks different. <laughs> hey, guess where I've been? The dentist. You've been going on about it for months. I love my dentist. He always gives me one of these. How many fillings this time? Ten. A new record. It's not something to be proud of. Are those wasps? 
<laughs> I'm having a party. The balloons need to say congratulations, Dad. Party at my house tonight. We need food for at least 40 people. I'm having a party at my house. That is all the guests invited. And a top DJ book. So what's next? Answering the door. Hello? Yeah, it's stuck. Sorry, old house, dodgy electrics. No worries. So, would you want my woofers? I'm sorry? My woofers? My bass bins, my speaky deekies, my chronic sonics, my clatterboxes, my squat cubes, my... You're getting weirder. <laughs> Talking about these. Ladies, I'm your DJ for the evening. But I only just called you. Yeah, I'll live a couple of doors down. Convenient or what? You know, you're lucky you got me. I actually turned down Katy Perry's birthday dinner to play this gig. Really? She's always on my case. Jack, will you take me out for a milkshake? Jack, will you take me pony trekking? Your name's Jack. We knew Jack once. I'll never forgive that creep for flushing my school history project down the toilet. <laughs> and he flushed my lucky troll. <laughs> he was a complete idiot. Well, obviously that isn't me, because I'm so not an idiot, huh? I couldn't catch a sarnie off you, could I? I'm hungry enough to eat a battered horse. Seriously. I've been saving this DVD for a special day. Ooh, shiny. It contains all of Danny's baby videos. Having a nappy changed, wetting herself on a seesaw, crying because she saw a cloud that was shaped like a scary face. What a loser. Project the film onto the wall as Danny's guests arrive. She'll be so embarrassed she won't be able to think about partying. What was that? It better not be a ghost. I hate those guys. This house has a few loose wires. You know that feeling, Ben. <laughs> My dad said the best way to solve a problem is by shouting at it. Behave, you bad housey, behave! <laughs> 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 ben? Where am I? This place is really clean. Name? Ben, with a B. Are you a West one? I'm sorry? With the wings, I thought you might be a West one. You know, like a werewolf, but a swan version. What are you talking about? Where swans are what people turn into when they get pinned by a swan. Probably. Don't you know where you are? Swan world? Try again. The North Pole? I'll give you a clue. The man in charge has a long white beard. Then it is the North Pole, which makes you an elf. I know it's early, but can I give him my Christmas list? I merely want pants this year. I've been having some trouble, you see. <laughs> Wake up, Ben. What? What? Wake up, Ben. What? What? Wake up, Ben. What? Ben, wake up. Again, again. Do it again. <laughs> Any more gherkins? Why don't you just help yourself to the entire fridge? Oh, that'd be greedy. So what made you become a DJ, Jack? <sighs> I just love the way sound works, you know? The thud of the bass note touching everyone in the room at once. Hundreds of people connected in a moment because of vibrations in the air. Wow, that's almost poetic. It's almost scientific. Plus I get a lot of free sandwiches. <laughs> so, what do you two do? Sam's at college. And summer's gotta be. And Danny's about to sign a record deal. Oh, no way, that's wicked, man. Oh, no. That set me off again. <laughs> oh, excitement levels reaching critical. <laughs> Can't calm down. <laughs> Hyperventilating. <laughs> I must chillax. <laughs> Just hope you're well enough to operate a DVD projector. What? What? <laughs> what? What? Are you playing a trick on me, Max? Are you feeling okay? I can hear things in my head. 
Those are called thoughts, Ben. You're bound to have some sooner or later. <laughs> Though I'm not sure that's healthy. <laughs> Go and unwind, Danny. I'll do it all. Nothing can ruin this party. You get the door. Thank you. Hello? Ah, uh, yeah, Martin Mogul Mogul Music. Is that Danny? No, this is her friend Sam. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, kid. I don't need your whole life story. Look, just tell Danny that uh, I think we might have accidentally offered her a record deal by mistake. You've got to be kidding me. Right, right. The party doesn't stop for hours yet. My name is Blair. Fla Blair. Say again? Fla Blair. Fla Blair. <laughs> so you're definitely not offering Danny a record deal? Nope. Negatory, no way cliche. <laughs> that did not sound good. That's as bad as it gets. How am I going to tell Danny? I can't see anything in here. Anything at all. We're still hearing voices. I'm picking up the radio now. As long as you're fit enough to operate a DVD projector. Straight in at number eight, it's... <laughs> it's Fleur Bleu. What is? What's Fleur Bleu? My name. My name is Fleur Bleu. Fleur Bleu. <laughs> Fleur Bleu. Fleur Bleu. Bleu. Blah, blah. I work for a top secret government agency. My card. It's blank. Of course. That's because we're top secret. And uh, what's that, that thing? No, oh, it doesn't have a name either. Because it's top secret. Because we couldn't think of one. It's for tracking radio waves. Somebody in this house has been intercepting our transmissions. Somebody with a razor sharp criminal intellect who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Oh, upstairs, second door on the left. <laughs> oh! Please don't ruin my party. Who's that? Never mind her. Who was that on the phone? Or was it the record company? Wrong number. Look, why don't you go and chill out? Ah, oh, thanks, Sam. This is going to be the best party ever. I'm going to go try on some outfits. <laughs> That's going to be the worst morning after two. Because such frivolity is below our superior intellect. You had a party for your birthday last year. It wasn't a party, it was a scientific experiment. You had balloons and cake. It was an experiment to see how balloons and cakes behave in a vacuum. Vacuum is right. I've never been to a party with so little atmosphere. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I think I preferred you when you were still in the box. <laughs> Look at baby Danny getting a nappy changed. What's wrong with this thing? It's like there's something interfering with it. And she says, I told you I bought a hat. And so I says, hat. I thought it said cat. I'm secret agent Fleur Bleu. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm a secret agent on the trail of a diabolical criminal genius. Name's Max. Nice try. But this is the real evil genius. You and I are going to have a little word. What little word would you like? Hat? Pie? Meh? Sit down. <laughs> You're going to give me some answers. OK. The world's fastest animal is a cheetah. The word laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And the Italian for potato is... Wait until I've asked the questions. What is going on? <sighs> OK. Need to calm down. Yeah, I'm going to be a star! No. Stop. Relax. Hello, and welcome to Relaxation. With me, Guru Ahuhu Ahuru. Together, we're going to explore a universe of calm. Picture yourself gently stroking a baby unicorn. 
By now, you'll be starting to feel relaxed. Completely relaxed and floppy, like a floppy hat, or a big floppy puppy's tongue, or a floppy slice of wafer thin ham. Maybe I should just tell her the truth. Danny hates being deceived. Just as well, I'm not deceiving in some way then. I'll tell her the truth tomorrow. I don't want to ruin her party. You mean you're going to tell her right after she's told her guests about the record deal she thinks she's still signing? OK, maybe we should just call it off. Will you be OK down here if I go and speak to Danny? Hey, I'm a professional. What's this for? I want you to tell me everything. Everything? Start at the beginning. Well, it all started about 14 billion years ago with the Big Bang. A single atom of matter exploded in the universe we know today. It then expanded and cooled. Not everything ever. <sighs> this isn't working. I need your help. Don't you ever knock? There's a secret agent who thinks Ben is a diabolical genius and she's interrogating Ben and Ben's never going to cope and I want to be interrogated and need Ben to help me ruin your party. Right, I was on your side up until the bit about ruining my party. New honesty wouldn't get me anywhere. You suck. <laughs> Why can't I relax? It's like there's something niggling at the back of my head. <laughs> nah. Daddy, I need to tell you something. Oh, that's not something bad, is it? I'm going to give you a makeover. Really? Yep. Oh, make me into your favourite film star. Really? You've been intercepting our transmissions. Where are you hiding your equipment? Bit personal. <laughs> You've clearly been trained to resist questioning. I think it's time to bring out the instrument of interrogation. Is it a trumpet? No more Mrs. Nice Guy. gets all the attention. <laughs> That's enough, blah, blah. <laughs> Why are you still laughing? It's a happy memory. Leave my friend alone. I'm going to take your friend back to HQ and strap him into the mind probe. <gasps> no, not the mind probe. What's the mind probe? <sighs> this is so relaxing. All finished. <laughs> what have you done? What you told me to do? I never said for you to make me look like a panda. Dunk. <laughs> uh, I got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not you. Oh, oh, no. Again. You said for me to make you look like my favourite movie character. And I really like Kung Fu Panda. Star! I said for you to make me look like your favourite movie star. Oh. This is great! People are going to start arriving in a minute and I look like a hideous troll. Troll? 
Simon. <laughs> he is the Jack we used to go to school with. He's going to wreck my party. Run up, Kitty. You look nice, Danny. What are you doing? It was self-defence. This weird local stray got in here. We're sort of, well, mortal enemies. Your mortal enemy is a cat. A cat from hell? We know who you are, Jack. Ah. Do you have any idea how annoying you used to be? Oh, and ruining Sam's school project and flushing my troll weren't enough. You've turned up like a bad penny after all these years just to ruin my party. It's coincidence Sam booked me. But I'm not like that anymore. I haven't flushed anything down the toilet in years. <laughs> of course, one in every ten people come away from the probe with their mind wiped. That won't make much difference. But you still can't do that with my friend. OK, I'm the one you're looking for. I intercepted your transmissions. Gasp! <laughs> I know I was a total idiot when we were kids, but I was going to make it up to you by playing the DJ set of my life. Just wanted to celebrate my big news with the perfect party. What? Nothing. Do you two know something? Sam? The record company rang. There's been a mix-up and you haven't been offered a record deal. And uh, when were you planning on telling me this? After the party? After I told everyone that I thought I was getting a record deal. Told you? I can't believe you both knew about this. That's it, I'm giving up on my dreams. Oh, but you have to dream, Danny. I dream all the time. Last night, I dreamt I'd grown a beak. <laughs> Shut up and get out! But, Danny! Look on the bright side. At least we've still got the balloons. <laughs> Can you give me a moment? Is I'm mostly disappointed about Jack. He seemed really nice. This may sound weird, but I think he's changed for the better. Uh, what are you doing back? Uh, I made some sandwiches to say sorry for the mess I caused. There's jam and anchovy and ketchup and olive. <laughs> and I texted my mate Tony, who runs a small record label, told him about your demo, and he wants to hear it. Anyway. Wait, Jack. Do you want to come to the party? Not just as a DJ, but as our guest. You want me at your party? Well, someone's got to eat these horrible sandwiches. OK, but can I please DJ? DJing is in my soul. I'm an artist. Ooh, pizza. <laughs> mm. <laughs> The device comes up blank with you, but when I hold it near your friend... Have you got any implants in your head? Like a metal plate? I've just had ten fillings. And he got an electric shock. Which must have turned your fillings into a basic receiver circuit. So that's why he was hearing things in his head. So they weren't thoughts. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time to fire up my decks. Not look good. Well, better get on. Try 
try and catch some real evil geniuses. If it helps, I want to be an evil genius when I grow up. Then maybe I'll see you in a few years, kiddo. <laughs> Remember, the name's Blair. Blah, blah. I may have ever so slightly overloaded your electrics. I thought you were a professional. Well, when I said I'd done loads of celebrity gigs, what I meant to say was, I've played a couple of children's birthday parties. <laughs> well, well, this does look nice. Too bad I'm about to ruin it. And how are you going to make your projector work when the power's off? <laughs> what? But there must be electricity. I need electricity to embarrass you. Oh, and there's my guests. Oh, no, no! Come on in, guys. Shame you haven't got any music. It's OK. I can pick up the radio on my teeth. Missed our favourite Earth TV show. Yes, and both Danny and her friends seem to be enjoying themselves at their party. For the very last time, we are not here to party. What if I had one and said it was a sleepover? Our mission is to gather data on the humans, not to have fun. Well, it's too late. I've already advertised my next bash. What? <laughs> advertised to where? On, on, on Facebook. Facebook? <laughs> You can't advertise our address on the galactic internet. Anyone could turn up. I come to party, 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 boogie, boogie. I hate game crashers. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hey, where's the cake? <laughs> 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 